Can I record? Okay. It's recording. Yay! Finally. <laughs> I've just been struggling for like 10 minutes trying to get this thing to like work. I, d I don't know. But today we are doing my yearly favorites. Finally, it's like going to be the middle of January before I post this video. But today is actually the 7th, so, you know. I got this whole little box full of some favorites, and they're just my favorites. They might not be your favorites. So, you know, you want to tell me what you like for the year, you can post that below in the comments. I'm being weird, sorry. So, I'm just going to randomly pick from my box. I'm going to go about it. So, my first thing I love this year that I've used a lot of is a palette. And it's, this is the Becca, and this is the... Ombre Rouge Eye Palette, and I got this from TJ Maxx. I think this is an older from a couple years ago. It's a really basic neutral palette, basic bitch alert. Hey, name's Vanessa. We have t-shirts. But <laughs> I like this for an everyday look. It's great. Put this on. It's all on that palette, and then I can put one of my single shimmer shades on, or I... That was weird. My camera just did a weird flash thing. Okay, whatever. Maybe I'm going crazy. So, really great. Another eyeshadow palette, another neutral one, is this Viseart Theory palette. And this is their Minx palette. Very basic shades, pretty shimmers. Um, Viseart has some great shadows. I have one other one that's like a um, an amethyst palette. Very great. Really enjoy it. Another palette. This is my all-time favorite palette. And this is the most basic bitch palette ever. And this is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Volume 2 palette. I do one Volume 3, which is like an all-shimmer, and I'm not down for that. I just snicked it. But you can see, girl, girl used this a lot. Girl liked this a lot. Um, I love this palette. I think I just got shadow on my face. Did I, did I really just get shadow on my face? Oh, cool. Real cute. Wow. Wow. Cute, Vanessa. Loving the look. Fixed it. With a dirty sponge. Um, another eyeshadow palette I actually got this year um, as an add-on for Ipsy is a Huda Mauve Obsessions. Um, I've used the shit out of this palette. I love this for an everyday pinky look. It's great. I love these little Huda palettes. I kind of want to get more. Um, I just haven't. Favorite setting spray. Can we guess what this is, people? Oh my god, what is it? Hard Candy <laughs> Matte Sheer MB Setting Spray. The light blue top. I love this shit. It makes my makeup look great. Um, it keeps me matte, but then it also like, pops my highlight. Like I'm wearing it right now. You can see that highlights... This highlight is actually pretty. I will tell you in an upcoming video what this, this looks on my face is. Stay tuned. Talking about a highlight is ColourPop. I've discovered ColourPop a lot this year. Like, I've had a few other things in past years. But, like, I really explored the van with their eyeshadows and stuff. Well, their Super Shock Highlight, and this is their famous shade, Flexitarian. You can see Girl Had Pan on that. Um, this is a beautiful shade. It's a beautiful, like, pearlized finish. Um, I don't use this on my face, though. I love this as uh, an inner corner highlight, a brow bone highlight, a little, little Cupid Bowl highlight. I use it mostly for that. Powder this year. Ugh. Becca. Love this powder. I went through a whole one this year. This is their Hydra Mist powder I got in BoxyCharm. I got two. Girl, if you want something that's magical and refreshing and makes your under eyes look like you're a newborn baby, like you came out of the womb, whoop, there you go, newborn baby eyes, this is the stuff. I love this. Some people find it weird because it is like wet, but I just love it. This is probably like Dan Down, my holy grail product that I probably can never live without, and this is... The Wet n Wild Single Shadow in Berlay, and I feel like every YouTuber and their mother and their pet tortoise are talking about this. I'm talking about you, Francis. I'm talking about you. Sorry if your name is Francis and you're watching this video. <laughs> uh, my grandfather's name is Francis. Yeah. I miss him. But I digress. This is like the best lid shade, blending shade. 
it's a holy grail. Best foundation I came across this year is actually a BB cream. We know, if you have been any time on this channel, you know I don't like cakey bitch syndrome. I ain't cakey. I don't like a heavy thing. I like my skin to breathe. I like my little baby freckles sometimes to pop out. You know, you can see a little pimple, a little acne scar. It's all good. We human. We, we do our thing here. But... I like BB creams. So I came across this CoverGirl BB cream. This is their clean matte for oily skin. I think they have a dry skin one too. And I'm in the shade Light Pale. Of course, because you know, I'm pale. Shh, don't tell on the internet. <laughs> but I just love this. It was such a good, it's a nice coverage. It's a nice like light medium coverage. You can build it. That's what I like. Um, the shade was great. Um, it was great. It lasted all day, set it with some powder, and you're good to go. And this is like literally, I think, $6.99, maybe seven bucks. I think I paid like five. I think I paid like around seven bucks at Walmart. So it's not expensive. I'm almost done with it actually. Hands down, best brow pencil, and I'll fight somebody for this, is, and a couple YouTubers have agreed, e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow in Natural Brown. I think that's the color it is. Neutral brown. Neutral brown. I love this. I go through one of these probably every month or two. Two dollars. Best thing ever. You don't need high-end brow pencils to get a good look. I'm actually not wearing it in my brows today. But I love it. Best eyeliner I've tried this year. And I don't wear a lot of eyeliner on my upper lids because I'm afraid of it. Is the Hank and Henry Slick With It Blickly Black Eyeliner. It's got the little shaky. I love that. This is great it gives you a nice thin line it gives a nice wing it's um it dries instantly almost so you don't have to like fuck with it smearing and shit love it favorite face palette of the year hands down cover fx this thing is gross i've used the fuck out of this i've used this up and tossed it to the curb and was like baby come back baby come back i love this um Love it. Uh, I literally finished that finishing powder like it was my goddamn mother. I love that shit. Like, mama, I love you. This patting powder might outrank you. Just saying. <laughs> she watches my videos and she's like, Vanessa. But I love her. I love you, mommy. Love you, mommy. I got lipstick on me now. Cool, thank you. Uh, contours. Perfect cool tone contour for me. The blush is a little pinky for me, but I can make it work. And the highlights are absolutely gorgeous. So I got three things left, and they're lip products. I'm a lip horror junkie. I like Mommy Nudes. I like this Too Faced lipstick. This is the Too Faced Melted Matte. I love the Melted Matte formula. It's um, it's matte, but it's not drying. It's creamy. It's a little transfer, but it's fine. This is in their limited edition Melted Clover. Uh, I found this at TJ Maxx for like five bucks. It was great. Another mauve color is Love Sick by Kat Von D. I know Kat Von D, controversial, don't talk to her. I still use a lot of her products. I mean, I kind of like her stuff. So what if she, her kid's going to get polio? That's her business. That's her business if she wants her kid to get polio. That's, that's not my business. <laughs> um, I love this. I've already went through one of these mini tubes and stuff. I have a couple other lipsticks that I just, I like the formula of them. And... Lip gloss. We all know I hate lip gloss, and I make a big deal every time I get a lip gloss and a subscription back. I'm like, lip gloss, lip gloss. But I actually really like this lip gloss. <laughs> Shocker. Um, the reason I don't like lip gloss is because when you're out and about, it gets in your lips and you're like <sighs> eating your hair. It's gross. But this is the Dominique Cosmetic, which I really like that brand. This is our lemonade lip gloss and peach tea. First of all, it smells like cake. I kind of want to eat it. Chubby girl problems. But I think this is a not sticky. This is beautiful color. It's neutral. You can wear it by yourself. Stuff. It's great. That's what I like this year. I know it's not a lot, but um, I didn't want to go crazy overboard. These were just the things that I like kept repeatedly reaching. There's other stuff I love that I fell in love with. So, like I said earlier, guys, what have you fell in love with this year? What are your holy gal? Holy Grail products. I cannot speak. Speech impediment, but not really. Maybe. I was tested. I don't know. But, 
that's all I have for you guys tonight. And if you are interested in the super glowy look that I look like I <sighs> did dirty things with a glazed donut. Hint to what I'm going to be filming next. Something to do with donuts. And it's not a mutt bang. That's all I got for you guys tonight. So please like, share, comment, subscribe, and join this little freaking... Whatever part of the internet you're on right now is something that you went down a deep path. And if you like it, stick around. Because I kind of like you too. Bye guys.